Hello and welcome to part 4 of Blender Basics, where we're building a low poly car. Make sure you've had a look at parts 1, 2 and 3, which look at the basic interface, modelling and texturing. In this episode we're looking at rendering. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that Blender recognises your graphics card, if you have one. So if you do have a graphics card, come up to File, User Preferences, and then under System, you've got CUDA. Uh, make sure that's selected and that your graphics card is listed here. Once you've done that, you can save the user settings and close that down. Let's just explain what rendering is. At the moment, a basic rendering is happening. It's a basic rasterization. It's giving us some indication of the shape by putting shading in, but it's very basic. So you can't see any shadows from the light that's just up here, or any reflections, or any light bounces. That's why we need to render. That's why we do it last when we've finished. Whenever we render, we look through the camera. So let's go to camera view with zero on our numpad. There's camera view. And what I'm gonna do is press N to bring up this toolbar here. And what we're looking for to help us move the camera is lock camera to view. Now we can use the same controls to move our camera around, that we move our viewport around and will stay in the camera. If we ever need to come out of camera view, we press zero again and we'll come out of camera view. But every time we go into camera view, it is locked to the viewport. So wherever we move our mouse, that's where it's gonna go. So how do we render? Well, we need to go over here to the render tab. The first thing you want to do is change it so that we use our GPU to do the rendering because they're much more suited to doing that than the CPU. And we can just press render at this point and it will come up with the render screen and you can see it's going quite slowly and we can speed that up in a second. So this is rendered view and you can see the lights are having an effect on the ground just here and this light over here is casting a shadow. So it's more complex than the viewport scene which is a live render. To come out of this view you press escape on the viewport and you'll get back to your scene. So there's a few settings we want to change in order to make it render faster and we know where it's outputting to. So first of all let's go to the dimensions. Press the disclosure arrows in order to get that information. So at the moment we've got our resolution of 1920 by 1080, so full HD, but it's rendering at 50% of that. And we can slide this up and down and we can click on it and type in what we want. 50 is fine for now. You've also got your range for animation, which we'll come to later in the course. There's two other things that I would say are the most important. The next one is sampling. Now this is the quality of your render. We've got render mode and preview mode. I'll explain preview mode in a second, but render mode is the amount of samples it's going to use. If I turn this down to five and render again, it renders much faster, but it's a lot more grainy. So the higher the samples, the higher the quality. And you need to find out with your own images how high you need to put it in order to get a nice good looking image. By default, it's set to 128 and that will give us this image which is not so bad, but you can still see some graininess. So if I was putting this into production, I would probably want my render samples to be higher. So that's sampling. Lastly, and this will speed up your performance, is the performance tab. So let's scroll down to that. The most important bit here is the tile size. And if you've got a decent graphics card, you can put this on 512 by 512. You might want to experiment and maybe go to 256 by 256 if you've got an older graphics card, but 512 by 512 should be good. Okay, let's render again and see the difference. And this is the tile size. Quite big and rendered a lot faster than it did before. If you want to save your image, you can come down to the bottom here and press image, save as image. So remember to press escape to come out of this mode. The other thing that I want to explain is the preview. You can get a live preview by pressing Shift Z or coming down here to rendered mode. So Shift Z will get you between solid and rendered mode. And I can get a live render, but it is only at 32 samples. And it will lag a little. It will take some time if you've not got a good graphics card. You can see it calculating up to 32 samples just there. So that covers basic rendering. In the next episode, we'll look quickly at animation and rendering out animations. Thanks for watching.